Tell people what your life is like right now because I don't think they have any idea. It's scary. Um, there's, I mean, there's people that hate me that don't even, you know, know me. And, I mean, it's, it's quite devastating, really. Every, every aspect of my life has been, you know, put out there and it's been ridiculed without, you know, anybody really knowing anything behind it. And I'm just, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm being judged. And I, I mean, I didn't ask, I didn't ask for this. I just showed up for jury duty. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't ask to be made public. I, you know, but now I feel that I was, I was forced into it. Are you seeing, I understand there's a lot on social media that's really hateful. Are you seeing it? Do you, do you look at it? I know that it's, that I shouldn't because it upsets me more. However, I mean, my address, pictures of my house have been put out there, um, pictures of my family. So I am on there, you know, trying to report it so that it can be removed. Um, my family members have been, you know, they're trying to find family members. And so I've, I've been, I mean, I feel that I mean, people are being attacked that didn't even know I was on jury duty. So it's very upsetting to me, and I feel like I have a, a responsibility to try to protect them. So I, I have been getting on there trying to report things. You know, I'm like, I'm saying, that, you know, I was a juror. My information was not supposed to be released. Please have this removed. Um, I'm saying that to, like, Twitter and everybody. You know, I keep reporting any image I see anytime I see my address. It's just, it's, it's really upsetting how, you know, how all this information was obtained. What is the meanest thing you've seen or heard? I, I mean, it's just a lot of attacks on my character. There's, you know, I feel like me and my husband work so hard, you know, to be good people, to, to provide a good life to the kids. And it's just, it's upsetting when people, you know, attack my character, attack his character. And you know, I feel it, it really hurts me and I, and I'm, I've apologized to him over and over again that he was, like, he's been dragged through the mud. And he's such a good person. You know, he's like one of the best people I know. He, you know, uh, his prior conviction was brought up. I mean, he had nothing to do with this case. Nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this case. His conviction was brought up, something that, you know, when I met him, he had worked so hard to, you know, put that in his past. I mean, he was, his work ethic, his character, all those things stood out to me. And it just, it saddens me how he's just been, you know, dragged through, through the mud because of this. And he didn't, he didn't do anything to anybody to deserve it. And it just, you know, stuff like that just, like, it just really upsets me. I feel that, I mean, all I did was show up for jury duty and answer everything as truthfully as possible. I didn't ask for this. I didn't volunteer for this case. You didn't even know this was the Arias case. It was just... Well, no, the day that I went to jury duty, um, there, was a, there was a lot of people there, but they were calling for a lot of cases. And I was like, what are the odds that I'm going to be called in for that case? So, so you knew that was a possibility? Well, yeah, other, other people were talking about it. I mean, it was a, it was a big deal down there in the, in the courthouse. But I was like, you know, what are the odds? And so I'm sitting there, and I'm watching the video that they play, you know, with all the instructions. And it's like I took it serious from the moment that I walked in. I mean, that's kind of how the way that I am. Everything that I do, I'm, I, you know, I try to be the best at it. I try to do everything as, try to follow the instructions as, as well as possible. And um, so it was a very serious matter to me from the, from the beginning, whatever it, it be. Um, was this your first jury? No, this is my second time doing jury duty. The first, the first one, it was a, um, it was several years ago, and it was a, it was like a DUI, and that was just at the municipal court, mm -hmm. and that was uh, I want to say it was three days, and so I get called in again, and um, like I said, I was like, what are the odds? Not till we got we were taken into the courtroom. Um, I want to say maybe there had to be like a good a group of at least like at the very least, maybe like 40, 50 people. And um, so we went in, and we were not really quite too clear. You know, we're giving numbers on what we're doing. I was sitting next to a woman who actually didn't speak any English. And so I was, she was, she was like kind of like trying to communicate, like, what are we doing? I was like, well, I don't know. We're just sitting here. 
And I'm just uh, kind of looking around. I don't, you know, I don't, I, s I don't recognize everybody like right away. And then I start looking around and then like it dawns on me what case this is. And from that very moment, I was like, oh my God. Like I was, I want to say that I was like shaking even. I was like, it w like the seriousness of the matter like hit me right away. And so um, after that, they took us in to fill out the questionnaire. And I want to say that I, sp I spent quite some time on it. Um, I answered all the questions um, and sometimes even like went beyond what they were asking. Just because, like I said, it was, it was such a, s a serious matter to me from the moment that I saw it. I was, you know, and I, 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 kn I knew how important this was. I knew how, how every it just needed to end already. I knew how everybody involved, you know, just needed closure at this point. So I, I answered it as, you know, as truthfully a, as possible. And I, like I said, I even put beyond what they were asking. And when I said give one answer, I gave two or three. How did you know this was the Arias trial? Because they, when they took us in our, with our numbers, th um, they were, uh, everybody was in the courtroom. The, she was standing up, and I didn't realize she was standing up when I walked in. So she was in the courtroom. How much did you know about this case before you arrived in that jury room, or the well, courtroom? I mean, I live in Arizona, so I had I had heard about the case, and I had seen, you know, just when they would come up on the news, mm -hmm. you know, just advancing in it. But I really couldn't. I I didn't follow it. Mm -hmm. I didn't follow it. I had a lot going on in my life at the time, um, and so I wasn't following it. I I watched bits and pieces of the movie, and. I was upfront about that from the beginning. I was like, hey, I've watched bits and pieces of the movie. And this is the Lifetime movie? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I um, was looking for, I was cleaning my house. I have, uh, my house is two stories. I was cleaning my house and I had, I like ha having background noise and there was nothing on. And that was on and I proceeded to clean. And I, I like I said, I divulged beyond. So I was like, I, you know, I saw bits and pieces. And, um, you know, people would, would talk about it, but it's just, I never followed it. I never really was interested in, you know, I would hear people talk about it, and, and it was just, it was not just, it wasn't something I really wanted to get sucked into. You know, not, not the problems that I had, was g had going on at the time. You didn't want to get sucked into it. Yeah. You knew this was the kind of thing. Yeah, I didn't know the details. That could suck you in. Yeah, and I didn't know the details of it until, um, so during the trial, like there was a lot of things that I was, you know, kind of surprised about. I didn't, I didn't know a lot of the details about it till till the trial. 